Uh, today I am going to talk about the inverters, specifically low frequency sine wave inverters. I will be covering the basic block diagram of sine wave inverters. I will be talking about the PWM scheme that is used to generate uh, the inverter stage output. After that I am talking about the MOSFET drivers which forms an important part of your power section. I will be taking some examples of ICs to explain the full bridge, half bridge and single channel topology to drive your MOSFET bridge. And after that I will be covering some of the line voltage and line current sensing techniques. In that section I will be talking about the traditional ways and their drawbacks of uh, sensing the line voltage and how we can address this issue using semiconductor components. So our first topic is the basic block diagram of sine wave inverter. Here you can see the basic block diagram of sine wave inverter. It consists of a battery bank. Uh, which is a generally lead acid battery uh, which can be a 12 volt, 24 volt or 48 volt depending on the voltage requirement of your inverter. This battery input is then fed to your power stage. Your power stage can be push-pull, full bridge, half bridge depending on your uh, circuit requirement. Your power stage output is then fed to a power transformer. Power transformer is used to uh, generally step up the uh, input voltage it also provides the isolation between your output load and the battery side. Your inverter output is fed to the output load or your mains input is fed to the output load and that decision is made by your controller. Your controller generates a PWM scheme that drives your power stage which is a full bridge or half bridge. Your controller also takes care of uh, certain alarm systems such as overcurrent protection, over temperature protection, thermal shutdown uh, and all this is done by your microcontroller. The algorithm that is there in microcontroller takes care of your power stage, your output switch over and your safety features. There are basically two methods to do your DC to AC conversion. The first method is designers generally go for uh, a boost stage which converts your low voltage DC to high voltage DC bus and they modulate that high voltage DC bus to get a sine wave output. In second method, they modulate a 12 volt or a 24 volt low voltage DC bus and they generate a sine wave on the primary side. They use a step up transformer to convert that low voltage sine wave pulse to a high voltage stepped up sine wave output.